Today I am reviewing the first ever super automatic machine I've had the pleasure of using, and spoiler alert, I was very pleasantly surprised how this machine performs for me, a coffee nerd. Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I'm with Homegrounds, a place for you to go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. Now I want to hop right into the review for this machine, the Terra Cafe TK1. Terra Cafe is not involved in this video whatsoever. I actually got this machine because it's been advertised to me like crazy, and one actually came up in my local Facebook marketplace for a very good deal. So I snagged it and now we will talk about it here today. So before I hop into this machine specifically, I'm going to go over very briefly what a super automatic machine actually is. And if you are familiar with making espresso at all, you know that there can be a lot of steps. People make it very complicated and there is almost a sort of art to it. But for some machines, you just want to be able to press a button and get a drink out. So that's what a super automatic machine is. It does everything for you. So it grinds your coffee. It does everything that needs to happen in an espresso basket and then it dispenses your espresso and then some of them steam milk and dispense hot water and everything so it is as easy as just pressing a button on a machine and getting a delicious espresso beverage. Now this machine has a lot of features that I may not touch on every single one in this video mostly just because this is a review coming from the perspective of me a coffee nerd and how it performs as far as the taste of coffee and everything so if I miss anything I apologize but there's a lot to dive into here and it's really exciting. So I'm just going to go quickly over what's going on in the outside of the machine. So on the back here we have a hopper, it holds 12 ounces of whole bean coffee and then inside of there we have a grind adjustment so you can go coarser or finer. I personally recommend just starting off as fine as possible because one of the downfalls of machines like this is they tend to not be able to grind fine enough so as fine as it can go in here is probably ideal. Now also inside this hopper we have a little spot that you can insert pre-ground coffee and it's pretty easy to use that. You just dump in a scoopful, press a button on the front, and you can use pre-ground coffee. Also on the top, we have a cup warming tray right up here. And then if we go down in front, you see this beautiful display screen that we'll talk more about. We have a nozzle that slides up and down. So if you have a shorter cup and you don't want it to splash, you can just boop, move it down a little bit. And then down here, we have the drip tray, which slides out super easily. And on the sides, we have two compartments one is for your water reservoir, so that's right over here. And then also over here you have an adjustment to adjust your milk, which we'll get into later. And then on the other side we have a bin that is a waste bin, so it will dispense your used grounds. And then also the brewer itself that you can take out and clean. So let's hop right into the screen here and I'll kind of walk you through what's going on in the settings and how to adjust things to your liking. Alright, so right away on the main screen here we have all of the different Preset so you can just press the button and it dispenses your beverage Americano cappuccino milk so it'll just steam milk hot water just dispense hot water Latte and espresso and then also a button for pre-ground But let's hop right into the menu here And I'm gonna go over the settings because that's what this machine is really unique for usually with a super automatic machine You're sort of just at the mercy of the machine and how it's going to perform as far as giving you espresso and you don't get as many parameters that you can adjust in the machine to get a better shot of espresso. So in here, if we click on settings and then go into espresso, we can see all the different parameters that we can adjust. So we have our water amount, so how much water they're gonna put through your coffee grounds. We have temperature, so you can adjust the temperature that the water is brewing at. We have a dose, so we can go all the way from seven to 12 grams of coffee. This machine produces single doses of espresso, but you can easily make a double shot. And lastly, we actually have a pressure setting. So we can run it at high bar or low bar. I know that the high bar is at nine bars of pressure. I don't know exactly what the low bar is at, but I will say that I typically leave this machine on low bar because like I mentioned earlier, you can't really grind fine enough in here and so, in order to sort of compensate for that, I'd like to brew at a slightly lower pressure and then that produces a better extraction overall. So those are all the settings that you can adjust for just espresso. 
but if we move on from there, let's say go to Americano, we get the top three settings the same, so the water amount, temperature, and the dose, but then the bottom setting changes based on which setting you are adjusting. So in this case for Americano, we can adjust how much water it automatically dispenses into your Americano. Now I will note that since we are losing that fourth parameter under espresso, the pressure, I reached out to Terra Cafe and they did verify to me that that pressure setting is a global setting. So if you have that in low bar under the espresso setting, it will be in low bar for all of the rest of your drink settings. So then if we move on from there, we can do the same thing with cappuccino, but adjust how much milk it is going to steam and dispense. And then the exact same thing with latte. Now, if you are just getting this machine and starting out and wondering, how do I even go about starting to get good espresso? I can just give you my parameters I'm using. So I am doing 25 milliliters of water at 203 degrees Fahrenheit with a 12 gram dose and low bar pressure. Now, if we go back to this main screen here, let's make some drinks and talk about them. So first I'm just going to make a straight espresso and do a little live taste test just to give you my thoughts on how the machine performs. Now you'll notice that once I press the espresso button, it's gonna present me with either an X, which just stops it, or a times two. And if you press that right away, it's going to run a full single dose and then immediately do another single dose so you get your double shot of espresso. So I pretty much always do that. So you can see we just got our first single dose and it immediately went into that second dose. Cheers. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that this is the best espresso I've ever had because obviously it is not. However, my thoughts on this machine have been pretty consistent that the espresso that I'm getting out of it is not bad. There is nothing wrong with this espresso I'm drinking right here. Sure, it might be lacking a little bit of sweetness and acidity that you can get out of a real espresso machine that you spend a lot of time working on versus on here I'm just pressing a button and getting a pretty good shot of espresso, which I think is good enough for most people that are looking at buying a machine like this. And this coffee is very chocolatey, a lot of caramel, some citrus, and the body is actually pretty nice. So like I mentioned, no complaints really about this espresso. Just being able to press a button and get this is pretty incredible. So here is the milk container that comes with the TK1. It's pretty simple. We just have this. And how this works is on the side of the spout here on the machine, there's a little slot that you insert these sort of straws into. And so we would put one end into there. And in this case, since I'm using this milk carafe, we just put the other end into here. And the machine is going to draw milk out of here, steam it, and dispense it for you. They also include one that only has one end to go into the machine and the other end is open so that you can just put this directly into a milk container. That's typically what I do at home. I just grab my milk out of the fridge, throw this in there, and then put the milk back so you only have to rinse this. Now something I mentioned earlier is that you can adjust the milk foam that you are getting from here. And that is on the side here next to the water reservoir. We just have a little knob that you turn that adjusts the amount of foam that the machine is making. You can see that similarly to the Just Espresso setting, it presents you with the double shot option right away. So you can press that and get your double shot. Okay, so a couple things that just happened that I wanna talk about, but first off, this cappuccino, it looks great. The milk foam that this produces, I think is better than what a lot of coffee shops are serving these days. So 
I am very happy with the cappuccinos I get from this machine. I'm gonna go give this to someone and then we'll talk about some things that just happened. Okay, so the first thing that I didn't mention before is that when it does steam milk, although it does a great job steaming the milk, before milk is dispensed, it does dispense a little bit of hot water that I usually like to make sure I don't have a cup below just because that's sort of cleaning out the steaming nozzles and I don't really want that getting into my drink. So you do have to remember to do that really quickly. Now another thing that happened that I didn't touch on earlier is that you may have noticed that in this cappuccino setting the espresso was a little bit different. And that's because when we were in our menu and settings earlier, you can actually adjust the espresso based on the drink you're making. So you can have different espresso coming out for an Americano or a cappuccino. In case, say you like your Americano espresso a little bit more diluted or a lower temperature or anything like that. You can have those adjustments made so that when you press the button, you're getting exactly what you want. Typically when I am making drinks at home, I just press espresso and then I do whatever else separately. So I'll press hot water after I make espresso to make an Americano, or I'll press milk after I press espresso to make a cappuccino. That is just my preference because I find it easier to do that. And I can remember to take the cup out when the steam wand starts and then throw it on there to get milk. So going off of what I just said, let me make an Americano here and show you how I would make an Americano at home. So I'd press espresso, double, and let that go and make a double shot of espresso. So now I have my double espresso and I can just press hot water and it'll dispense hot water until I just press that press to stop water button. All right, so now that I've made a few drinks, let's talk about what we at Home Grounds love about the Terra Cafe TK1. And first off, probably the biggest thing is that this is a super automatic machine that actually makes pretty good espresso that you can dial in to your preferences. And why that's such a big deal is because usually we're doing a lot of work to make delicious espresso at home. If you watch any of our other videos on different espresso machines or all of these grinders that cost a lot of money that you have to do a lot of work to get good espresso. Whereas on this machine, you can just press a button and get pretty good espresso, which I think is a very big deal. The fact that you're able to adjust the dose and temperature and water amounts and everything in here is really great so you can get exactly what you are looking for. Another thing we love is that a machine like this makes really good coffee accessible to more people that maybe would be more intimidated by fancy espresso machines and grinders and wouldn't want to dive into that world, but they still care about good quality coffee and maybe don't want to use pods or anything that aren't very sustainable and honestly aren't very good. Whereas with a machine like this, you can use whole bean coffee. You don't have to worry about all the work that goes into making espresso and get a really good cup. Now the last thing we love is the price point of this. So this machine is $825, which immediately sounds like a pretty good amount of money, which it honestly is for a lot of people that's gonna be way out of budget. But if you look at the espresso machine market, $825 is about what a sort of low to medium priced, decent quality espresso machine will get you that takes a lot of work to get good coffee out of. Lower than that, and you're usually looking at manual espresso machines that take a lot of work and more expensive than that, you're still putting in a lot of work to get good espresso. So $825 for a lot of people is too much money. That's understandable. But if you are in the market for something like this and you have that budget, I would highly recommend checking out the TK1. Now, as far as things that we don't really love about this machine, I would say that the maintenance and sort of the day-to-day -day cleaning aren't my favorites. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the machine does actually tell you when to, say, fill up the water or empty the waste bin or your three-month maintenance of replacing the water filter, descaling, all of that. But on top of that, you do have to worry about a few other things. And actually, let's rewind a little bit to past me to talk about some of the cleaning on this machine. All right, so here we are before I start filming the review just to show you all of the maintenance and cleaning and things that need to go into taking care of this machine. 
So probably the biggest one is going to be the drip tray. That's what it looks like. You can probably see along here that there's drips and everything. That's not a big deal at all. It's easy to wipe off. So on this side we have the waste bin and then the brewer. So right away, the door to this is pretty gross. And then the waste bin. I dumped this out before, but it's kind of just all muddy in there and gross. Uh, so you really need to clean that out probably once a week or so. And then over here we have the brewer, which slides right out. And this is pretty messy as well. I wasn't aware until I checked their website and Terra Cafe actually recommends taking this whole thing out and rinsing it once a week. They said something about not flipping it over and obviously none of this should go in the dishwasher, but you can just take this and run it under water and let it dry. Uh, so you should be doing that once a week. I have noticed that if I don't do that, I uh, get a little bit of buildup and stuff not coming through properly. So I recommend doing all of that on top of the maintenance that the machine is going to tell you to do. And then one other thing is that inside of here, around these two components, there's a lot of coffee grounds, a lot of stuff can build up in there. So you wanna make sure to get in there probably once a week as well. Just clean everything out. I take a little vacuum, but sometimes you also have some sludge and whatnot in there that you need to wipe out. So what are my final thoughts about the Terra Cafe TK1? Well, if it means anything to you, I have this machine at home and I use it every single day. I really like the quality of espresso that I'm getting based on the amount of work that I'm putting into it, which is pretty much nothing, just pressing a button. And typically when I'm at home, say on a weekend, I'm the type of person that I am spending a lot of time making coffee all week that I don't really wanna do that on the weekends. So I will either go to a local coffee shop, but if I have this in my kitchen, I can just wake up, make an espresso, make a cappuccino. And then also later on in the day, I can just steam milk if say I want a hot chocolate or a, I know anything like that and then also it's easy to get hot water out of if you want to make tea or anything so it's really versatile for me at home so if that tells you anything you know that I am a big coffee nerd if you watch other videos on this channel and I recommend this machine so that is a lot of things about the Terra Cafe TK1 there are a lot of things that I miss and things that we could go more in depth with. So if that is something that interests you or if you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy brewing.